Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to Ixion. Now in the last episode, I basically just focused entirely on collecting resources, where we pulled in well over a thousand ice onto the Tycoon, as well as the cryopods that were trapped at the Protagoras. Now we've woken most of those guys up now, so we're currently sitting at over a thousand seven hundred population, and our Sector 4 is housing most of those new arrivals, but we also just found out that in order to get the coordinates to jump out of the Immortan system, we have to rescue more people from the Protagoras and power the ship to do so. So we're out here collecting resources. We're going to also be sending a science ship back up to the Protagoras to investigate what exactly is happening. All right, so let's quickly have a look and refresh our memories here. The Protagoras waiting for a science ship. The Protagoras' PA has stipulated that once the station is returned to acceptable operational levels, the Vol signature of the Edamananki will be transferred across to us. We must fly to the rescue of our Dolos colleagues after there was a battle with the UN. So we're currently out here collecting. I've just done, I'm basically picking up right where I left off at the end of the last episode, but I've just kind of um, reprioritized a few things. We're mostly just collecting ice with all the ships that are dedicated to sta being stationed in Sector 4, our housing station and our storage sector, I should say. Uh, some of them are getting ice and pulling it straight into the food sector. And then these first three are going to Sector 2. That's all industry. So they're getting iron, some silicon, and then they kind of should be getting other things as well. The first three ships over here, we can actually change one of them. They're currently mining around the system, and then the rock is mining ice as well. So I'm going to pull back something like the cataphract, as there's no actual iron left for them to get. Yeah, we've actually mined everything for that. So the cataphract can retire, and we'll change, change it so that the Einstein goes out or something. So let's go to sector one. We'll go to here and say the cataphract. Off you go. And we'll... Slap on the Einstein. Okay, so with that in mind, I don't know if we can leave right away, but let's see. No, it looks like we can. So off you go. 3.7 cycles to even get there. In the meantime, we're just going to be gathering everything we can around here, moving to Fargo, and then we'll make our way back in by hopping across to different planets. So I've got another thing in mind. We were a bit slowed down. We did make it here just fine, but I want to build another battery just so we can get even further with another jump a bit more safely. So the batteries are just recharging at the moment from our previous jump. Other than that, things are looking good. The biggest anxiety to this playthrough now would be the fact that if there's no resources in a system, we have to make our own iron slash alloys in order to keep the hull integrity repaired. Otherwise, we could run out, and if this runs lower than what we can get generate from either waste or whatever, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. Now, there's still a decent amount of iron out there to collect. In fact, we could just look at this screen. There's 945, so we're okay for a while, but it is a little bit of a ticking timer on us. So just gotta be careful with that. Uh, let's let time play. Anyway, some of the mining ships are just out here doing their thing. This one's coming back now, and we've already sent the, the Einstein forward. So, yeah, looking good. Internally, there was actually a notification that said the crew of the something, and I dismissed it at the end of the last episode. So I don't know what happened there. But I don't know if one of my crews died or something, but I guess, I don't know. Anyway, we've got 30 cryopods left to crack open. And then we can power down the cryonic center if we want to. We could even dismantle one of them to free up some of the space here, because it's kind of a hodgepodge of different things. Um, but yeah, we're making, we're us utilizing all the water and, and, you know, trying to make the ice and store up more water. Sorry, use the ice to make more water and store it all up, and then we can power one of these off if we need to. Food seems to be totally fine. An accident has occurred in the Tycoon. Oh, the tech lab is actually powered off. Yeah, so we actually have to, in the top left, repair the superstructure, provide the um, resource to support its crew, and then re research this telescopic pole upgrade. So that's what we're doing at the moment in terms of tech. And then we're currently repairing ourselves. Now, I think we just got, we did, we just got the extra layer yeah, just this branch here of extra solar panels. So we've got a little bit more power to our name now as well. We've actually got a pretty good amount of polymers still. We could go yet again. 225. But I think we've got power for, you know, that's that's fine now. We've got like 60, 70 power. Well, then we could get another 51, 225. But we don't have the polymer yet, so I guess we'll leave it. All right, that's the situation. So let's hop over our sectors. They're all neutral. Two of them are happy. Oh, no, one's happy. Yep, all good then. And power is fine. We're building houses here. So the only main problems would be that we just had that accident. That's fair enough. We have 39 homeless in Sector 3, 64 in Sector 4. We're building a house for them right now, so it should go down to about 25. 
Um, and then we're just freeing up 19 more people, and that should be it. We're getting our third battery. So, of course, all these houses require just little bits of power. So that's a little, little drain on our resources as well. But we've got 70 available right now, so it's okay. Uh, but just to do with the charge rates and stuff, you know. All right, looking good. So we want to pull in all of this iron. That's going to be a pretty high priority the for... ship has arrived at its destination. For these guys. Silicon's coming in. They should be bringing in carbon, and then they can prioritize this as well. So let's just put that down for a bit. So prioritize the carbon, and then we'll go for the rest of the iron. So there'll be two ships doing that. And then one ship is just doing silicon right now. Which is more than enough. We burn through 30 at about the rate they kind of bring it back. So it's just coming from over there. Oh, they only took 23. Yeah, it seems like they clear one node, and they don't move to another node. It's just such, such a shame, really. Feels like they should just be able to collect as much as they can carry and then come back. Trust is through the roof. We have 1,744 people. Looking good. Tech is being devoured as soon as we make it. Oh, we've arrived. Let's check it out. Okay. Oh my god. Administrator, we arrived on site and met with the crew of the Protagoras. We were welcomed like heroes. People crowded around- I mean, we were here before, but we didn't go on board, I guess. People crowded around us, reaching out and touching us as if they doubted our existence. Some of the older crew members looked on with skepticism. The crew are weak, tired, and disorientated from cryonic sleep. They've been traumatized by the horrors they suffered at the hands of the Edmanaki crew. They provided us with complete diagnostic rundown of their structure. We can now allocate resources to begin repairs. Um... Repair the superstructure of the Protagoras or reestablish internal infrastructure and food distribution. I guess do that. Keep the people alive. Food first. And then, so what's to say? The team of the Einstein will assist the crew of the Protagoras in repairing the key structures such as the hull, solar panels, and external communication systems. And this one, they'll assist the Protagoras in internal equipment. I'll do this one first. It's less time as well. So 100 food and 100 alloys. We can do a ship that comes from Sector 3, which is our food sector anyway, and they can pick up some of the alloys that are there. So yeah, we'll get the Pelican to do this. I think the Pelican's the same ship that went to rescue those guys trapped in the ice before. It's a long distance for them to be traveling, but I think they can go through here just fine. It's just a little cold, I hope. I'm a little bit worried that if I power them on... They're gonna, like, turn on me or something. I don't know, but no, they shouldn't. We're all Dolos. We're all the same people. Yeah, so that, that carrier ship was or that cargo ship wasn't gonna be doing much anyway, so... Setting them to go all the way up there, it's not really a problem, and I haven't noticed... Except for maybe that notification before. I haven't noticed any problem with going... Through the, uh, the frigid weather over there, you know? Hopefully it's okay. All right, let's get inside, have a look internally at what we can do. So we're, we're coughing up a lot of alloys. When's the, um... So this, we're about to just generate 50 more alloys here, so that's good. In, like, one more cycle, and then here's got another nine cycles to go. So we're just turning the waste into alloys at the moment. So you don't really need anything else, although it would be tempting to get that extra polymer, to get the more power, to get the extra solar panels built. Extra housing's done, then another battery's been built. So this place is pretty much done now. We've got a free slot here for either another constructor or something else. I might just give it another constructor. So that if we do end up building a lot suddenly, we can turn power these on. But uh, for now, we can power one off. So anything else that's full? You're full, you're full, full, full. Actually, you know what? Then I guess power this on. We need even more storage, amazingly. So how much room do we have here? One... Two, three. We can get at least three more in there. With a road on the bottom, maybe, or something. An accident has occurred in the typhoon. Accident occurred. Where did it occur? I guess it's fine. Hopefully nobody died. People were injured. Not too bad. Alright, looking good. Getting a little laggy, though. Not gonna lie. Getting a little laggy. Okay, I'm back. 
So I just, no, it didn't seem to change anything. I turned off wallpaper engine to see, or like paused it just to see if that would help. But I think it's just the fact that I'm recording and the game is getting kind of demanding. With the amount of population we have, that's probably causing it to slow down just little bits every now and then. Food is totally full up. We're not even storing the amount of food that we, we harvest. So that's another kind of issue. Once we start burning through some of this ice, actually the cryopods are done now, so this can be stored as food. So let's change this to alloys. And this one can be stored as food. Ice, 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 ice. Yep, they're still pulling from that ice first, so that's good. Down to these buildings, and they're storing up more and more water all the time. Great. So is anyone heading off there? Oh wow, they're nearly there. Wow, that was quick. Holy crap, the speed. It takes 1.4 cycles for them to get all the way up there. Wow, they're way faster than we are. Good for them. So we're just delivering their food. So we delivered 33 alloys. So it's going to be several journeys before we get that done. But that's okay. I'm not in any hurry, really. Because you have to kind of keep our tech rate up with that as well. And we're probably going to move even further to Fargo. And then I guess to Plymouth to get the rest of this iron. All right, let's just keep time sped up. Uh, I'm gonna set a higher priority on collecting these guys as well, just so they don't go to any other one by accident. I'm sure they won't, but just in case, just in case. And this area is almost completely done. So iron is actually pretty much full up, which is good to see. So these are gonna constantly be churning. Yes. <laughs> Nice. All right, cool. Let's keep time moving. I feel like I'm making some grave mistake. Extra hours. There we go. That's a problem. Silicon's full. Iron's full there as well. Iron's full there. Hmm. That's all right. They should be burning through at pretty much at the same rate we're bringing it in, basically. We're repairing the hull nicely, and we're getting our tech. Good. Oh, there are extra hours here now as well, so turn one of these off. There's still extra hours, really. They must be from the accidents. Yeah, these places are pretty full up. 13, 12, so that's just lowering our workforce right now. Uh, by how many? What are we over? We're over by 10. Okay, you know what? Just power that down. We pause that. Oh, it's only two power. Wow, it's nothing to train people in there. Uh, I could turn off tech. I don't want anyone on extra hours. It just seems like not a good solution, right? So let's leave that off then. All right, we're optimal all the way across. Good. So let's assign these to be ice. Just make sure our ships are able to carry in more and deliver it all the time. Workshops being disabled in Sector 3 due to an accident, okay? We now have 3,000 ice on board. Next ship is on the way. 33 more alloys en route. Gathering and pulling back ice all the time over here. These guys are gathering their silicon. They're gathering their iron. Great, we'll just leave it on triple speed. Things are going well. Except for the accidents. There's not much we can do about that. These guys are actually happy because they don't have waste management in here. So yeah, cryopods, you can start dis decommissioning that building. And then we'll build maybe the stability building in here just to keep people happy. So what could we do? It's the stability, one of the memorials, uh, the alternative life center. Yeah, why not? Seeing as this is a food sector, it seems like that kind of makes sense. Oh, interestingly, this one actually needs 10 workers. Huh, it's five by six, it's smaller than the other ones. They're carrying that away at least, that's good. And then maybe we can move some stuff around. I'm amazed that waste, we just don't have the waste storage in this place. Set another waste bag in there, please. Oh, actually, actually, actually. Makes a lot of sense. Oh, we can't stick it there. Could if we get rid of that road. So there's going to be a gap between these either way. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to wait to clear out this area just a little bit. So we'll get rid of this workshop. 
the hell was that? All right. Clear the workshop. Gonna have to move this over as well, probably. So just empty this out. Store everything in that one, please. And keep distributing. Distributing. And then uh, I'll turn this this way. Face it that way and that way. And then we'll feed in the waste into this area. Just compressing the space down a little bit. Trying to get a bit better with that. But looking good so far still. We've delivered our 66 alloys. So another trip. And they'll be at 99. It's so annoying, actually, that they're going to do that. Because then it'll just have to be a trip of just carrying one. Because I don't think they're going to carry one of each thing. But we have plenty of food, though, at least. So we shouldn't be a problem delivering that. Alright, cool. Optimal conditions everywhere. Pretty much. And once these guys are recovered, then we will uh, turn back on the tech building. Alright, just keep time moving. It looks like we can get moving ourselves now. Now that these guys are arriving. Yeah, so let's move over to Fargo. That is going to be... 2.1 cycles. Easy. This planet looked so cool. Let's take the screenshots screenshots of it after I um, moved here in the last episode. It was just really detailed, like with the little ice floating around it and then all the impact structures, or impact um, cavities, I guess, that were on the uh, planet's surface. It just looked cool. And then you got this nebula, basically, this ice nebula in the distance and the star. All right, moving to Fargo. So some of our ships are going to, they're trying to arrive back to where we were and trying to plan for where we're going to be. We're going to Fargo, guys. Can't we just send them ahead to coordinates? Just meet us there. <laughs> My scientist, the Einstein, is just sitting there now. So one of them is heading off, delivering another 33 alloys. See you later. God, look at the amount of ships coming in. Oh my god, there's so much ice and silicon. A couple guys heading out as well. We're about to arrive, though. Oh my god, we're like skidding into position almost. Getting on the far side of the orbit. Alright, cool. Done. In position. All these ships are just going to be arriving. They're going to be in a queue now before they can get in. Oh no, I got this on my screen. Get this off. There we go. Alright, we are powered back online. So, how are we doing? 56 homelessness. Not so bad. Could be worse. Delivering ice to these new areas down here. We have 3,100, of course. Food is stored just fine in this place. Nice. It's emptied out of all the different things, although the waste is still a problem. Waste I'm trying to transfer into here, so we just made some sp uh, some space for it just a moment ago. So what we can do is just start reorganizing, reshuffling things around a bit. So you go there. You go here. And then when time and is ready, we can... Put the uh, waste in here and feed it into these two waste management buildings. No so assign that to be waste. To mine. No more resources available to mine. Ever. Yeah, that's true. There's nothing left out there. Well, good job. Just come back then. <laughs> What's your problem? Building storage is full. For alloys. Iron is full as well. That's alright. Once they get this built and these things decommissioned, it should be okay. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. Alright, this is going to be waste. And not that it matters. We'll just put a road here just to fill something in that spot. Empty this one out. So when this these two fill up, we'll use that one instead. So stockpiles. That's okay. As long as we don't have anyone without medical treatment, it should be fine. I didn't actually catch if the people in the last episode died when I said that they'll just take the place of the others. Hopefully they made it. <laughs> we should have checked that. Where's our DLS? There it is there. I was going to say, where is this DLS center in here? Optimal conditions. Optimal. Yep. Good, good, good. Great. No one's unhappy either. 
do a 56 homeless. Again, not sure how many people we're going to be picking up at the Protagoras. Excited, but a little little uh, anxious to see. So this says, the stockpile failed to transfer to another sector during the last cycle. I don't know why. Like, why, you know? And it kind of flickers on and off. It's been constantly happening, so I'm not too sure what that exactly means. Having so many of these, I feel like they should be able to deliver around pretty, pretty easily. But it seems like there is problems with them, the food. So another thing I'm going to do is switch, turn this on, turn it to food. Turn this to ice. So I'm just going to transfer these resources to each other, hopefully. It might get a little bit backed up for a moment, but we'll see. And that way all the food is just kept at least together. And then the ice is kept down here next to the uh, thing. So I guess another thing then would be moving the... <clears throat> yeah, moving the infirmary over. Somewhere like there, and I can bring, bring a road in then to the side. And that way they don't have to get that long way around every time. They can just kind of get out a bit quicker. We'll have to wait to build that before we can get rid of that one. How are allo alloys? They're okay. This place is actually maxed out for alloys right now, which is good. Uh, I suppose we could always throw in another house. Doesn't leave us with much space on the bottom, but that's okay. So two more in there. We'll leave it as is. These could maybe shift over in the future. All right, how are we doing for resource collection? We're doing all right. We could maybe actually go to Plymouth, seeing as there's just silicon here. And Plymouth seems like it's pretty even spacing between most of these places. How much ice is left up here? 15, so they'll get that now in this last collection. Then we'll move our way over to Plymouth. Once we're there, I don't know, we'll circle back to Falcon where it all began and then hop across to Thatcher V8 and get to the Protagoras. Um, yeah. Looking good. All right, I'll just keep time sped up. We're actually making really good progress. We're getting very low on resources out in the world now. We're out in the out in space, out in the system. 630 cycles in. What do we got left down here? How much? All right, it's time to move then. So that's doing its last order, right? It's carrying... Oh, it is carrying a bit of both. Hey! Fuck me for saying it was not going to do it. <laughs> One alloy and 32 food. Great. All right, to Plymouth we go. Two cycles. Batteries are recharged. Let's move. Fargo 39, we hardly knew ye. Alright, off we go again. So much iron around here. There's like 500 or something over this way, isn't there? Or there's that ice. Oh, it's ice, yeah. Alright, well we are actually turning through ice a little bit to make that food. And with 3,000 in the bank, I wonder what our daily, like our, what is our monthly burn rate, you know, or something. Like if we check up here, it's hard to tell. On the station, oh yeah, every five, oh, okay, actually it does tell me. Every five cycles, we're consuming 18. We're making more than we're consuming. Or at least bringing more in than we're consuming. Once that stops, so it's, that's such a small amount of ice every five cycles. We're only consuming 16 ice every five cycles. Is it because water is full? Water actually is full in this building, but not in this one. So we could just pause that building now and just continue making it in this one and see how that goes. That'll lower the amount of waste we produce. I'm going to remove this. They should get... Yeah, they've already gotten moved in there. We're powered back on. We've arrived already. God, that was quick. Cool pattern. Plymouth 37. So now it's just a matter of collecting these final little bits. Uh, we can actually turn these on to gather as well now. Doesn't have to be high priority, just leave that. So even the hydrogen can be... Yeah, 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 that's fine. And that can be brought in and stored as well. We've got a little bit more room for hydrogen. So it's 6 and 33. We can actually store that in the, the remaining storage bay that we have for it. Uh, tech... I'm bit being a bit of a silly boy. We should get our tech tree back up and running. Now that people are out of the hospital. Alright, so tech is progressing again. We have 50% currently done. This building storage is full. There's nowhere to send the, uh, the waste. The alloys. I'm 
just trying to see. Could we just set this to alloys or something, just temporarily? Just get these emptied. Yeah, because we've got four buildings making alloys now, so I guess that they, they don't really know what to do with that. Uh, tempted to go for the more power, though, now. We've got the polymer, and maybe we can switch one of these to polymer. Seeing as we do have a lot of alloy. So let's do it. Construction. Large solar panel. Yes, sir. 225. We have it all in... Ready to go. So sector 4, we'll just say polymer. Just almost nothing. Nothing in there, nothing in there. And then 30 polymers to be stored in here. And that means that the uh, EVA airlocks will get all the polymers they need and they should be able to build that no problem. We're out of carbon, so the carbon buildings can power down. Silicon can back on now, make those electronics. And our waste buildings are here. Looking good. Looking a little bit better now. Things are a bit more uniform again. Yeah, storage and then construction maybe here. Unfortunately, to move the DLS center, you can't build a new one. So you just have to, like, decommission it and then build another one. And what is it? It is a 5x7. So this is also a 5x6. That would fit in there. So the DLS center wouldn't actually fit there. Let them store up that hydrogen, because they're going to be collecting some soon. We've almost solved every problem as well, except we do have extra hours right now. By how much? Just by a tiny amount. A food building. It doesn't seem like that should be where the food building goes. Let's uh, switch this to hydrogen, because it's at the back and it doesn't matter. And this can be switched to food, because it's near the mess hall. All right, good. They're in optimal conditions now, at least, so that's good. Accidents. Yeah, accidents happen. That's okay. Not a big deal. How are we doing? So let's have a look at what we have left to collect. We have 255, 162, and then 500 ice, 39 hydrogen. So really not that much. Less than 1,000 in total in terms of stuff to collect. We've delivered. We're delivering food up there now, so they need another 60-ish food. And we're currently getting the technology research for 50%. So what else are we missing? Repair the superstructure. So we've got a lot of alloys. So hopefully when we get there, that's all it takes. That's the other event, right? The first part of the... Can we do the first part of the event at the same time? Uh, no. All right. Well, they're nearly ready with that one. Man. I can't believe we're making it. <laughs> it just feels like... I haven't had a real problem in the game in a while, <laughs> so that's good. But uh, it's just the way people tell me it's so difficult and all the negative reviews when it first came out saying it's so difficult. It's like, well, I usually struggle a lot in these games, so I don't really understand how I'm doing so well. Okay, so that's a big building. So they need the alternative life center. Ah, I screwed it, didn't I? This isn't going to fit in here. Unless we get rid of some storage of ice again, which it could do. Probably have too much. Need to set these various amounts. So ice, max that place out, please. Ice here. Just store like 500. Try to empty it out if you can. Yeah, I'll leave them on neutral. It's, it's fine. going to try and compress the space in here though a little bit better so it's pretty good in this area although there is space for another house or something here or maybe a battery uh depending so all our batteries are over there i guess they're pretty compact maybe just population wise i feel like this place could have more workers especially if we get more power so we'll just throw in a regular house there good all right not much left all the cargo ships are coming back now it's just the can we go to dog we actually can't. We can go to Falcon, though. Doesn't seem like it would be any closer. So, yeah, we'll just go let them get that, even though it's kind of far away. The fleets should all do it. There's three that will be able to get it. But they're constantly going to be getting the iron first. The iron is actually maxed out, so that's probably going to be an issue in Sector 2. So, hydrogen is full up. Polymer is empty. 
Yeah, I tell you what, let's switch this then to iron. Turn that on. They're doing alloys and they're doing polymers. So how's the construction on the outside going? Did it get built yet? We're at 36%. Okay, good. Construction is in progress. It seems like we're repairing and building at the same time. I guess one airlock does one thing. I didn't know that. That's kind of cool. Alright, they need another batch of food delivered. They have their short 45. So two more trips for the food. And then there's still just bits of silicon left to get. Alright, just keep time on fast. Not much else we can do other than wait for tech to get done. And just keep churning through the resources and get things built. And try to organize a bit better, so... Let's go... Stability. Alternative life center. Could it fit in here, maybe? Mm, kind of, not really. Genetics Conatus Memorial. Wow, it's pretty huge. Lunaclism Memorial and the Marduk Memorial. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about that. I don't like them. <laughs> also, they're huge. And it's just one stability. Tech tree upgrades can increase the bonus in sectors with specific specializations. Okay. Oh, right, okay. I'll have to look through the tech tree then before I put those down. Uh, well, let's just go with a workshop here. And a workshop here. Continue the road through the middle just to keep it looking kind of even. Once those are built, then we'll decommission this. Start moving things a bit over again. Put more storage back in the center. Maybe if I can move that DLS building, we'd have to turn it offline for a bit. I wonder will the policy stay there if I decommission it? The only policy that's really running is the waste and intense propaganda. So that's stability 2, stability negative 1. So we get a net positive of 1. And we have the, um, the policy, right? The overall thing. 20% longer batteries. So we'd lose that while we decommission and rebuild it. It wouldn't take that long, though, but, you know, it would mean that they'd go into being unhappy for a little bit. Unless I built that other thing. Alright, we're well, looking good. Sector 3 has a little bit of homelessness in it. But what can you do, you know? <laughs> Nothing is the answer. Not too sure how to finalize this bit of space down here, really. That doesn't fit there. Doesn't really fit there unless we did this and this. And we're left with a very weird gap indeed. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Just leave it, I guess, for now. That's the water in the sector. It's still, like, really, really good, actually. And it's amazing, but waste is super high up as well. Do we just have the one building for waste? We do, and it's just been told to transfer in here. But these farms are producing so much waste that even these two areas aren't enough to handle all of it. An accident has occurred in the tycoon. They're okay, right? So we're at 70%. How much left to go? I guess we could just check here. 109 iron left to go, 90 silicon, and 269 ice, 39 hydrogen. But ice is so full up that I think they're really slowed down. So we're going to have to build yet again even more storage bays for it. All right, good. So let them get cracking on all of that. And then we could even maybe move these ones because we said we're probably going to end up needing more houses on that side anyway. 696 people in this sector. A lot of food has to come in here constantly. Right, there we go. Everything's moving. Now, arguably, I don't need to get rid of those, but I just kind of want to. This can be turned off as well now. Just to free up the space, but if there really isn't enough space to pull in the rest of that ice, then I guess I'll leave them on. Alright, so they're all doing ice. And they're all getting fed now. Good.
Alright, last little bits to go. This one's going to be a little bit longer to get these. And there's only three iron there, but that's not a big deal. But we don't have to wait for all that. We could just start moving now, getting our way over, because they can just come through the storm. It's not a big deal. So that we can just get on with the job. So they're at 98 food, so we just need to deliver two more food, and that's done. And then we need to deliver a bunch more alloys. Well, we'll make our way over for that, so we'll definitely speed up as we get closer to it. Alright. Yeah, they have nowhere to drop that ice, so I guess at least one of you need to be online. <laughs> Alright, we've done very well. If you look at the top bar, I'm pretty happy with how everything's gone. Building storage is full for alloys. Yeah, so we need more alloy storage in this place. Got no carbon left. Lots of silicon. Silicon is active. Oh, I'm sorry. We actually haven't delivered. I'm such an idiot. We haven't delivered the... Uh, so, for those who don't know, my microphone actually just kind of blocks a little bit of this portion of the screen. Now, I know I miss things all the time, but that's my slight uh, excuse for that, that I just didn't see that part. If I lean forward, I see it just fine. It's just sometimes I lean back and the microphone arm just kind of slightly blocks it. Anyways, um, okay, so you're just a bit short. You never actually got that. Just when it said 40%, I assumed it was being constructed, so my bad. So why didn't you get that? We have enough on board, but it must just not be delivered over there properly. So Polymer is set to store 50 over there, 0, uh, zero and 20. So where is it right now then? Why isn't it moving? It must have an order to move from somewhere where I've turned off the... There it is. Got it. All right, it's on its way out now. I knew that I would actually set the rate correctly, but I didn't have the building on. Alright, well, that'll give us the extra power boost we need. Because we're... Despite all this, it's crazy, actually, how much power we've been using. Yeah, and they're just getting their next set now. Cool. Because all of these things just take little, itty bits of power all the time, and it adds up. It adds up. But some of them could be turned off for sure. So what's left out there now? We have just three iron, 20 silicon, and... Yeah, okay, I guess we'll just wait. Come on, guys. Hurry up. Get the last little bits. That seems like that might actually be it in terms of journey. So let's get moving. We're going to go back to Fargo 39, make our way up. So that's two cycles. How long would it be to get to there? 3.8. That's a little too much to do on one battery. So let's just get moving now. And then while we're waiting, some of the ships will catch up to us. All right, triple speed out of my mind. We're at 90% for the tech. They only need two more food. They have the two food that's arriving now. And we're getting on our way to Fargo through this little old place where we used to gather a bunch of silly. Three people were injured. 1,754 people still active. Train more colonists. Turn off this cryonic center. We've got no cryopods anyway. There's actually nowhere to even store cryopods anymore. <laughs> Maybe we could store them in here. God, the amount of ice, it's insane. If we get the technology to let us store more in one storage bay, it'd be so good. We already did a little bit, 10% more. I'm gonna just power down a couple of these things as well. Conserve a little bit of power while we're moving. These all need to be on, because these are the logistics guys that transport food everywhere. Over here, we're looking a little bit better, a little bit healthier. Decommission this one and start moving it over. Pretty good use of space. I'm happy with the layouts. I think things are generally pretty organized. Generally. Not perfect, but pretty good. Alright, we've just about arrived at Fargo. 
And our cargo ships are all coming back in. They have a little bit left to get out here. Two of them can make that journey. We'll just wait until they come in. We'll wait for our batteries to recharge, and then we'll get moving to Mac R. So this is done now. So, yep, just about done. A science ship team has completed a task. The resources necessary for the well-being of the protagonist's crew have been brought aboard as we were completing our last tasks. An invitation was found that had been left for us. Some of the older members of the protagonist wish to meet. Meet the elders. Can't do that one right now. You need the telescopic pole to be built and the tycoon has to be in proximity. Well, we're on the way. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Should we do that first? I feel like we should do that first. I don't like the Naomi protocol. It's weird. I'm going to wait till we get in position, then we'll do that one. So our batteries are basically recharged. These guys have left already, and they're heading out to get what they need. Good. Let's go to here. Hull integrity is pretty bad. We must be actually building the thing now. Yeah, we're at 86%. That's all right. We can just keep moving there, right? It's not going to be a big deal traveling, will it? I hope not. 2.4 cycles. Does it go down while traveling more? I feel like it might do. Our tech is just about done, by the way. 97, 99, 100. There we go. Technology. Retractable telescopic pole has been unlocked. Turn that off. Turn that on. Alright. I'm going to let the hull repair just like a little bit. Oh no, it'll repair while we're moving, right? I think. Let's go. Yeah, it's repairing while we're moving, so we're good. I think it was I think it was kind of wise waiting for that because we were kind of getting a little dangerous. Alrighty, off we go to Mac R. Draining the batteries, but we should be fine. 2.4, 2.8, 3.1, 3.1. <clears throat> And then it's going to be just two more jumps to get to the Protagoras. We're going to repair it and then see what's up with it. Because I feel like the Elders... Caution. I don't know. This... Entering extreme low temperature environment. It's Frostpunk. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Something's suspicious about meeting with Elders before we actually like power the things on and get maybe another option. So we'll see. What do they got left here? 33 left to collect. Oh, you're not actually collecting what you should be, the Viticali. They just they're just moving back to me. Go get those things, guys. I don't care who does it. Yes, good. High priority. Just go collect. Thank you. You can find me later, don't worry. <laughs> we'll still be here. I'm not gonna leave without you. Alright, we're just in position over Mac R. What's the jump um going to take to get to Tar Tatra. 1.8 cycles. Let's go. Alright, we're like double jumping. They got what they needed. Look at the speed! 1.4 cycles. They can get to me way faster. Batteries are doing totally fine. Scientist is waiting for us to arrive. We're on the way. 662 so badly damaged. Oof, that's not good. Well, when we get there, we'll repair it. I suppose we could repair while we're en route, which seems insane, but I, I guess why not? It just means that we're not repairing the hole now. Okay. Oh. Hull integrity below 50%. I know, I know, I know. It was a bit of a risky jump, but we're here now. And we're repairing that solar panel. Where's the planet? There it is. Jesus, huge. Okay, the batteries are recharging. We actually have enough power. I didn't necessarily need to do that. But the next jump isn't going to be too expensive. We're at 40. I'm just going to wait for this to be 100% and then we'll get moving again. All right, now we're looking internally. A little bit of homelessness. People are a little cold, you know. But uh, other than that... Things are good. Little extra hours in here, and that's not good. Uh, what can we do to reduce that down? What is it? Workers on strike. Oh, right. That's something that we haven't experienced yet. Um, who is here, by the way? 
population wise. In sector two, there's no non workers. I'm not really sure how I've ended up doing that where now there's people. Is it just that people are injured? Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, then, well, yeah, just close down a couple of these. They're full up anyway, so. Let's give it a bit of time. Once these guys come out of the infirmary, things will be okay again. I do. I mean, there's not much population here, which I guess is good, but I worry that. Two members died during the last cycle in an accident. Yikes. Oh yeah, it was 1754. Yeah, I'm just waiting for that last little bit of recovery. Which is taking forever, I don't know why. And then the extra hours thing should go away. <laughs> Maybe just turn this off then, I guess, until that's ready. Um, I feel like we do need a second infirmary there, though. That there isn't that many, much of a big of population, so I guess it's not too bad. Alright, 100%. We are repaired. Or at least we've increased our power. We're now up to 704 potential. And the hull is being repaired as well. Alright, let's do the final jump. To get us over to the Protagoras 1.1 cycle. This shouldn't be too bad. And we can repair on the way. Who knew there was wind in space? There we are. We are in position. Okay. Let's hand them the alloys they need. Retractable telescope pole needs to be built and the tycoon in proximity. Ah, oh, I didn't know it needed to be built on the exterior. 60 polymer. That's no problem. Let's just wait a little bit. Let's make sure that we have 60 polymer in the sector. We're currently repairing the hole. Just don't want to constantly be not repairing that. How many polymer is here? 50. Yeah, store 60, please. Just so we can make this go as fast as possible. And train another batch of colonists. We now have 165 colonists, which is pretty good. Alright, alloy storage is opened up again. We're just full up on alloys, though there's nowhere to send them, so the forges aren't really working. But I don't really mind, that's fine. Alright, we've kind of recovered a decent amount of uh, hull integrity. Let's get building the telescopic pole. Can't see it, I guess it's retractable. 60 polymer. Godspeed. Now, polymer is actually kind of low. Not that we need it for anything important, but... This is alloy and this is pot. Yeah, okay, that's good. As long as we're getting polymer out of here. We've just got 20 right now. Good. Uh, so the ice that's here to collect. Might as well allow them to do it now. And the cargo ships are just flying out there. Nice. They just ex I just saw them all just fly out at once. <laughs> and they'll come in with extra ice. So it looks like everyone else is done, though. We have our stuff. The hydrogen is in place. Turn that off now. So that's going to be 430 hydrogen. Cool. Don't think there's much else to do. I feel like waste could be better. Oh, maybe I need to set it to be higher, actually, thinking about it. There we go. Empty this out a bit faster, please. Yeah, it's just after taking some out, and now it's filling... It's emptying out these farms. That's good. Yeah, that should allow us to kind of keep this place going a bit better. Uh, how are we doing? Is it built already? The retractable pole. Looks like it is. Alright, repair the Protagoras' superstructure and reboot its core systems. I just, yeah, I'm just so divided. It's like, okay, the core systems could take over and like kill the elders or do something crazy. The elders might tell us that the systems went rogue. I don't know. I'm going with the systems first. Who's going to deliver it? Does it really matter? Polymers and alloys. So it has to come from sector 2 ultimately. Now, we actually don't have that many polymers. We're going to have to wait to make some. Uh, actually, we could speed that up just ever so slightly by changing this to be polymers. So that's going to be the 20 that we're lacking. This can now do alloys. 
All right, so ship is going to load out of Sector 2, send the alloys out, repair the Protagoras. Meanwhile, we're repairing our hull, and we're not getting any tech anymore. Do we have people that could be? Yes, we do. Might as well continue it. Now, out of curiosity, the stockpile. So we need tech th tier 3 to get more stuff. So we're currently getting Legislative Strengthening Center, just because it's part of the... We need to get everything on this band to get tier 3. So after this, it's cell housing, and then we're done. We have tier 3 unlocked. So they're working extra hours in here. Maybe power off one of these. Good. Oh, I'd be amazed. I wish you could. I'm, I don't expect it from a small developer, I guess. Even though this game does look really good, but I do wish you could see your ship going right off there and coming back. It's those kind of things that make me go like, oh my god, so cool. <laughs> make me feel like a five-year-old again. Ah, um, oh, let's be real. It makes me feel like how I probably was when I was like 20. <laughs> All right, they're loading up the... Yes, yeah, so they're just loading up the alloys first. Then it's going to be the polymer. An accident has occurred in the Tycoon. DLS Center was disabled here. Interesting. That's an interesting one to have an accident at. It does seem like the policy stays even if you move the building. Because that building is not operational. The policy is still active. People are still happy. So I'm assuming I can decommission one of these and move it. And it'll be okay. But I don't know. Let's get rid of this thing. Don't want it there anymore anyway. We're out of silicon. Open that up. Let them get their silicon. Extra hours. Has there been accidents? There's actually nobody in for that. So maybe we could just move some people in. So we have some population that could be moved here. 295 in terms of workers. Yeah, let's get some workers to move into this sector then. So only workers from sector 4 to sector 2. 40. Send them in, please. Have them help out. Just keep it optimal until they arrive. Alright, I'm just letting time play on triple speed. We're just waiting for this to load up. One alloy and then two trips for the polymers. We have enough polymer on board, so they should be able to do it. We're out of carbon completely, but at least we can make some through waste. It's funny, the migration takes longer the further they are, which is kind of cool. It's a nice screen, actually, as well. The UI in this game is really good, I think. It never leaves me really guessing, like, how things work. Population transfer complete. Alright, so you can turn this on now. Not that we really need another construction thing, so we'll leave it the, as is. Oh, there is a second infirmary. I didn't realize. That's good. Uh-oh, I just saw a problem. Sector 2 is 32 hungry... I think I probably moved them during the meal cycle, which has caused an, caused an issue, because there is food here. The problem is that they were probably moving while it was... Yeah, feeding was happening. So that sucks, man. They're after becoming angry because of that. Spending too long in the system. Having more than 5% of the sector starving. That's a negative 3. Yikes. All right, tell you what... One food feeds seven people. One food feeds ten people. So extra stability. What else could we do just to make them a little bit happier for a moment, you know? Building operation requires 25% more workers. Look, I'll just be generous with food for, you know, for now. We'll set that back when they calm down, but we need to calm them down a little bit. So that's still not great. We're still negative two. If we could just get to negative one, that wouldn't be so bad. But there's nothing I can really do. If they're hungry, they're hungry. Um, they just have to wait to eat. But the meal cycle's not coming up for four days. Oh my god. What else can I do? I don't know. <laughs> oh, I could build a stability building. Yeah, okay, we could do that. That'll keep them happy. Could always just dismantle if we really needed to. Seventy alloys. Get it built. It's gonna be like explosions and riots in here now or something. Alright, they are building it at least, so that at least will keep them negative but not angry. 
It causes a negative to trust as well, but also bad events. So I don't want the events happening. All right, let's just check. How are we doing? Zero out of 60 polymer have arrived. Oh, I know why. That's a mistake on my part. Polymer has not been told to store here. It needs to be in sector two. Max it out, please. Minimum in sector one. Minimum in sector four. Let's get it all into here. Load it up. Ship it. All right, sorry about that. Little errors on my part. Doesn't seem to cost anything to do those repairs. Just sets you back for whole integrity, I guess, while you're doing it. All right, so we've got them onto negative. That's a little bit better. So we just have the passive effect of plus one. Alternative life center. They're all queuing up, ready to... What does that even... What does that do? <laughs> As a description, you know? Your Crew members feel that their quality of life is important to you. The fact that you had time to provide them with entertainment alongside your other numerous responsibilities has led to the belief that you are, in fact, not human. Perhaps instead of a new generation PA, uh, instead I'm a new generation personal assistant or a genetically superior being. We know that this is nonsense. Uh, okay. Oh, I'd go along with it. I'd be like, yeah, I'm, I am great. <laughs> oh, I got an achievement. Guy de Borderlands. That's what that one's called. All right, we're shipping the polymer out of here. Next journey, and then we're good. We nearly have 4,000 ice. Feeling good that I actually managed to get it all in here, although it took me multiple hours doing it. So, hope it wasn't too tedious <laughs> to watch. Some people are like, God, you're so slow. And I do feel it in this game. I love this game, but it's much more fun to play, I think, than it probably is to watch, because it's just hardcore logistics a lot of the time. A lot of the time. But not all the time. Like a game like Frostpunk, very similar to this, throws you a lot more political events and dynamic events and tech trees moving way faster than in this game. And you can't idle around collecting things for as long in that game. Time is inex inexorably moving forward and there's only like 40 days in a campaign. Whereas we're already like 680 days in this one. All right, we did it. So let's go check the event. So we're clocking it down now as we repair this, the, repairing the superstructure. And then we'll go talk to the elders right after that. I feel like the crew of the Ansen are going to die if they meet with the elders. The elders probably like it the way it is. An accident has occurred in the Tycoon. Gonna make two batches of polymer this time around because we're kind of low. Stockpile. Okay, that's okay. Still got some homelessness in Sector 3, but I don't mind. A little bit of homelessness is okay. <laughs> Good, and we have thousands of ice, so no problems. Just keep keep it on triple speed. Our tech tree is almost done. So that let's just have a look at what that's going to give us. Provides two stability when the stability of a sector is below zero. So that would have been a perfect thing to get. Um, these guys are actually okay now, so we can revert their policy for food consumption a bit later because they've been fed. Yeah, food generous. At least they're happy. They went from being angry to being happy. Alright, half a cycle to go. We're almost done. A science ship team has completed a task. Oh yeah, there's more people. I totally forgot to be building population buildings. Shite. Anyway, we spoke with the crew at the Protagoras. The systems are online and operational. Repairs are complete. It's clear that most of them now wish to pursue a different goal than exoplanet colonization. With their tachyon calculator stolen by the UN and their ability to generate vol coordinates with it, they'll no longer attempt to reach Ramus. Instead, the Protagoras will become a place for life in perpetual displacement. As there are only two sectors of the ship functional, however, the crew accept they must reduce their numbers if they are to have a chance enduring such an existence. While some will leave the Protagoras, with heavy hearts, comforted only by the knowledge they are giving their crewmates the best odds of survival, many will actually wish to join us on the Tycoon and see the mission to reach Ramus through to the end. We must welcome them on board before we leave this system and the Protagoras behind. Well, hang on a second then. How many is around here? 200 non-workers, 50 workers. How do we collect those though? Oh, they are there. The grouped as one category. Uh, so yeah, we'll pull them into sector four. We'll do that and then we'll meet with the elders. I just don't want them getting killed or something, you know, for taking them off the ship. I'm just, I'm endlessly skeptical about all this. <laughs> oh, that's it. 
I didn't meet with the elders. That's it. There is nothing left to do. Oh, I must have, like, tabbed out of it, didn't I? Yeah. Well, that's it. I guess we didn't meet with the elders. We don't know what they want. I'm okay with that. You know, sometimes we just gotta say, look, not my problem. But I I'll be always curious. You can let me know in the comments if you know what would have happened. I'm okay to know after the fact. Did I make the right choice or not, avoiding them? All right, well, we're just going to take on these people, and then once they're transferred, I assume we jump out of here. Uh, but they probably need more housing. Let's get another house built. Something freaky is going on while they're finding their houses, I guess, as they arrive. Got some nice music, makes me feel like I did something right. <laughs> Yeah, it's just the transfers are happening basically instantly. What's left? 100 people? Now, I wonder in the exterior view... See, it said that we thawed them out of the ice, but the ice is basically still there. Maybe it was a bit more internally. So what's our population here now? 776, so we can go up to 1,000 in this sector and be okay. And... The, ha on the homelessness problem is just increasing vastly. But we're building another house for them right now. Get another one as well right here. Actually, that one won't really work visually as good. What about sideways? Would that be weird? Eh. It's not that weird. Right, I'll just pop one in there. No big deal. All my ships have returned. We have cleared the system as well completely. I just find like some massive deposit. I'm like, no guys, we're staying here for another five hours. <laughs> hey, incoming transmission. The Protagoras is reactivated and operation. We have received the Etimanenki's full signature. Nice. Act they held up their end of the deal. Facing this U.S. superstructure. Mm. We are ready to follow to reach Remus. All right. Nothing Sounds good. Is holding us back. Okay. We are charged with batteries. Achievement unlocked. Ain't nobody got time for that. Vol jump to your next destination. Let's do it. So, you know, obviously these houses are going to get built in time. That's fine. We don't have to wait for anything. We've got food. We've got ice. We've got everything in the system and timed it perfectly. Let's go. So, Ixion engine, please. Ah. Now, the only thing is this is going to set us back permanently. And give us another negative 20 to hull. Yeah. Okay. That's interesting. But, yeah, we'll, we're as ready as we'll ever be for it. Let's go. It's going to get more difficult, though, for sure. In accordance with Frau Stanford procedures, all ships must return to the Tycoon before Volt Jump initiation. Yep, Science Ship is just arriving back now. We're just about to get our next tech as well, actually. Volt charging. Ixian engine ready. Godspeed. I love these cutscenes. They're so cool. I like that it only happens a couple times throughout. It makes it really impactful. We're going so fast. I'm going to say it every time. <laughs> I'd still be terrified that you'd mess it up like the first time. We still don't even know what happened the first time, right? It's like we jumped through time and arrived back in the same spot. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh crap. 
What is this? Another battlefield. There's gonna be thousands of people floating around, probably. Full jump complete. Running preliminary diagnostics. Expected irreversible damage to the tycoon detected. Mm hmm. We have not reached the exoplanet Remus. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> tycoon primary sensors are picking up vast amounts of debris. This could have been After a catastrophic jump. Could have jumped right over there into that we like big pile of metal. Remus. All right, the fate of the Edamananki. Oh, maybe that's the Edamananki then, is it? Just completely torn apart, torn asunder. Here we are. Oh my god. Giant space storm. Theta Crucis is where we're at. All right, we'll have to leave it there. That's going to be it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Just FYI, we are closing in on 2,000 population now. We have just hit our hull integrity even further. And now from 3 vol jumps, it's negative 60. So we're only going to be kind of maintaining around the 500 mark with the amount of EVA airlocks that we currently have. We might have to turn another one on. All right, that's going to have to be it for this episode. Thank you very, very much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching. And remember, if you want to support the channel directly, you can click the join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. You'll also get exclusive access to my Discord where there's dedicated channels for each series I'm doing. That's a great place just to meet others and make some friends.